The external lights illuminate the airplane and the runway and taxiways ahead. Controls for the external lights are on the forward overhead panel. Internal lights illuminate the display units, indications, controls, and panels. Controls for the internal lights are all through the flight deck. The potable airplane water system supplies clean filtered water to the galleys and lavatories. Water shutoff and drain valve controls are at the galleys and lavatories. Clean and used water quantities are monitored from the aft attendant panel. These switches operate the retractable landing lights. The retractable landing light switches have three positions, retract, extend, and on. The retractable landing lights retract and extend from the wing to body fairing. They can be extended at all air speeds. The fixed landing lights are located at each wing fairing and shine forward and down at a fixed angle. A gang bar above the switches can be used to extend and turn on all the landing lights at the same time. Runway turnoff lights shine ahead and to the side to show the taxiway turnoffs. The taxi light is on the steerable part of the nose gear. The light extinguishes automatically when the nose gear is retracted. To review, operate the external light switches. Touch the green arrow to continue. The logo light switch controls two lights in the top of each horizontal stabilizer surface. These lights illuminate the sides of the vertical stabilizer to show the airline logo. Red, green and white position lights are located on the wing tips. The switch for these lights has three positions, steady, off and strobe and steady. In this position the strobe lights also illuminate. The other switches control the anti-collision lights, the wing lights, and the wheel well lights. To review, operate these external light switches. Touch the green arrow to continue. The nose wheel well light also has a switch on the external power control panel. With normal selected, the cockpit switch is the master. In the on position, the light cannot be controlled with the cockpit switch. 
The main wheel well lights also have an external switch in the forward area of the left wheel well. The switch for the dome lights is on the aft overhead panel. The dome white light switch has three positions, dim, off, and bright. The dome lights illuminate all of the flight deck. The circuit breaker light control on the overhead panel controls the lights for the two circuit breaker panels. The panel light control brightens the switches and indications on the overhead panel. Panel lights illuminate the aft electronics panel and a floodlight is also available. The background light control illuminates all of the forward panel with the floodlight. The AFDS floodlight control shines a floodlight on the light shield panel. The captain and first officer each have a brightness control panel. Notice that the captain's main panel light control also illuminates the AFDS panel. These brightness control panels include controls for the outboard display units and the inboard display units. If radar is shown on an inboard display unit, this control increases or decreases the brightness of the radar display. Controls for the upper and lower display units are also on the captain's panel. The standby magnetic compass switch has three positions, dim, off, and bright. This switch controls the brightness of the flight deck annunciator lights. In the test position, this switch illuminates all the lights. Map and chart light controls are on each sidewall panel. To operate the lights, the control is pulled out and rotated to set the brightness. The map lights illuminate the area in front of each pilot's seat. The chart lights illuminate the upper sidewall panels. Each pilot has a utility light mounted on the sidewall. The brightness control rotates to illuminate the light. You can also push and hold this switch for temporary illumination. Touch the boxes to operate the internal lights or touch the green arrow to continue. Touch the boxes to operate the internal lights or touch the green arrow to continue.
Touch the boxes to operate the internal lights or touch the green arrow to continue. Touch the boxes to operate the internal lights or touch the green arrow to continue. Touch the boxes to operate the internal lights or touch the green arrow to continue. The no smoking and fasten belt switches on the overhead panel have three positions, off, auto, and on. Set auto for each switch. A chime sounds from the PA system when one of the two signs illuminates or extinguishes. With auto selected, the no smoking signs illuminate when the landing gear is down. When the gear is up, the no smoking signs are extinguished. With auto selected, the fasten belt sign illuminates when the gear is down or the flaps are extended. When the seatbelt signs are illuminated, the return to seat signs in each lavatory also illuminate. One potable water storage tank is behind the aft cargo compartment. The water tank supplies water for the galleys and lavatories. The water system operates automatically. Air pressure from the engine pneumatic system pressurizes the water. The aft attendant panel shows the quantity of potable water with green indicator lights. The waste system indicator uses three different colors to show system quantity. As the tank becomes full, the lights become amber, then red. If the waste system becomes full, the lavatories will not function and the lab's in-op light illuminates. This light illuminates if the tank sensor needs to be cleaned or checked. A water servicing panel is on the bottom aft fuselage. All water servicing controls are on this panel. Water drain and release valves are below the sinks in the lavatories. A water heater operates automatically to supply hot water for the sinks. Extreme temperatures automatically turn off the heater. An on-off switch is on the side of each heater.